encourage you to keep our forest safe. That's why the 2020 celebration of the International Day of Forest will be focusing on forests and biodiversity. The International Day of Forest is held annually on March 21 to raise awareness of the importance of forests to people and their vital role in poverty, eradication, environmental sustainability, and most importantly, food security. So we are discussing how to keep our forest safe this morning. I've been joined in studio by Joyce Ofori Kwafo, who is the head of corporate affairs, media relations at the Forestry Commission. Good morning. Good morning. You're told not to shake, so. Yes. <laughs> Maybe so, you can do it a fist bump. <laughs> so we'll do it virtually. Yes. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you, Mom. So mm -hmm. the Forestry Commission, what have you been doing, you know, lately? Thank you very much, Mom. A very good morning to all your cherished um, listeners out there. Forestry Commission was established to see to the protection, management of forests and wildlife resources in the country. Mm -hmm. In the 1992 Constitution, Act 571 established the Forestry Commission. And Forestry Commission has three major divisions and two centers. We have mm -hmm. the Forestry uh, Forest Services Division. Mm -hmm the Timber Industry Development Division, the Wildlife Division, and then we have the Resource Management Support Center, which is a technical wing based in Kumasi, mm -hmm. and the Forestry Commission Training Center, which is also in Kumasi, Ejusu. So basically, we are in charge of, of the country's forest reserve, which we see to the regulations, the management, the development, and then the protection of all forest reserves mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. So this is what we do as a commission mm, and, and and so far you think you're doing well because your concerns about the fact that i mean all you have to do is to be aligned with government pay a few coins and you're giving access to forests that should be reserved it is not true mm. forestry commission is working extremely hard to protect the nation's forest we don't only protect it but we also manage it and then we pro we uh, make sure that we grow our forests. Mm -hmm. We plant trees, we nurture them to grow. So we are doing very the, well. The tree planting exercise, how's it going? I, I hear this youth in afforestation yes. project. The, how, how's the, it going? the youth in afforestation is one of the flagship programs of the Forestry Commission. Mm -hmm. So far, we've employed over, over 60,000 youth countrywide who are working in our various regions and districts to plant trees and to nature Are they them. under the NAPCO or the... No, please. Mm. They are under the Youth in Afforestation uh, Program, which is a collaboration between Forestry Commission and the Youth Employment Agency. Mm -hmm. A memorandum of understanding was signed in 2018 to that effect. And these youth were employed. Mm -hmm. And they are working very hard. So far, they've planted over a million trees countrywide. Really? Yes. Okay, for how and long? I mean, between which period and which period? It's almost two years now since the program came into being, and they've done extremely well. Over 60,000? Yes, please. Youth. Yes. Mm. Males and females who are doing very, very well. Mm -hmm. The program initially started, um, we didn't know we were going to employ this much, but then the responses that came out mm -hmm. really encouraged us. So we opened our doors and we employed this number of people, and they are working extremely hard, even in Accra here. Mm -hmm. We can take you to the Achimota Forest. We can take you to the banks of the Wager River, where they've planted a lot of trees mm -hmm. to keep um, the river and the water bodies. Well, that's a very good uh, initiative, by the way. I'm really hoping that we'll be able to carry it through. But let's talk about the International Day of the Forest. Yes. Why biodiversity? Yes. International Day of Forest is a day which was set aside by the United Nations General Assembly mm -hmm. in 2012 mm -hmm. to raise awareness on the importance of all types of trees and even trees outside the forest. Mm -hmm. But then they allow all member nations to celebrate it the way that will suit them. So this year, the, for, the theme that was given out to all member nations is forest and biodiversity. Mm -hmm. And because of the flexibility that is attached to the celebration, Forestry Commission, together with the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources, and our stakeholders decided to couch it thus, mm -hmm. protect forests and biodiversity for human survival. Mm -hmm. Because we realize that when we destroy the forest, mm -hmm. it is not only the trees that go down, mm -hmm. but it comes in its wake, the destruction of the various um, forms of life that's in, that are in the forest. Mm -hmm. 
when we talk about biodiversity, we are talking about the various forms of life. Mm -hmm. Trees, shrubs, microorganisms, even the climates that are found in the forest. Mm -hmm. And this is what goes down with forest destruction, mm -hmm. forest degradation. When we talk about um, bush burning, mm -hmm. um, overgrazing, illegal felling of wood, illegal uh, logging, illegal mining, they all comes in its wake, the destruction mm -hmm. of the ecosystems. Mm -hmm. It comes in its wake, the destruction of the various um, biodiversity forms mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. are in the forest. Mm -hmm. So we decided to focus our attention not only on the forest, not only on the protection of the forest, mm -hmm. but also on the protection of biodiversity but what, 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 in the various forests that we have. Beautiful. I, I have a few questions. What role did you play with the rosewood situation? Um, with the rosewood, um, mm -hmm. all issues on rosewood will be directed to the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources. Okay. Maybe the minister or his representative can speak to all issues on rosewood. Yeah, because for now. you spoke about logging. And on all that, that's what I'm asking. Yes, I'm talking okay. about logging mm -hmm. uh, in our forest reserves, mm -hmm. not on rosewood. Mm -hmm. But if you want to talk about rosewood, uh, I think we have to speak with the but Ministry of Lands. For now, it is the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources that should be dealt with. Okay, that's because of the controversy it. surrounding it. Um, I, I, I don't know of any okay. controversy. Let's talk, about, let's talk about bush burning. Yes. You know, I mean, I mean, in these times where coronavirus, the outbreak of coronavirus, and we are trying to contain the situation, mm. we don't want to import so much. And so there are concerns that we should empower the local farmer to produce more to feed local demand. Yeah. Now, there are concerns about some of the practices these farmers you know employ to to whatever with their farming practices people bend bend their bushes yes. you know because they don't have they don't have the the means you know to for other other means of ensuring that they till the land and ensure that we we plant and use the, the proper means of of doing that are you in touch with these farmers yes we are in touch with local farmers groups we teach them best practices how to plant. Now we even have the trees on farm project where we encourage especially cocoa farmers to plant trees on their farms and at least um, 18 trees per acre of a farm. So we encourage and we speak with them in collaboration with other stakeholders to make sure that they don't uh, do, uh, engage in practices mm -hmm. that will destroy our forest. Mm -hmm. Because when they do the slash and burn, mm -hmm. it has a lot of negative effects on, on, on their land mm -hmm. and on the forest. And at times, it even goes into our forest reserves and burn them. Mm -hmm. So we are really in touch with them. And how is the training going? I mean, how is the sensitization? Because, I mean, there are concerns that really those in remote you know, places yes. don't have access to these trainings regular trainings we, we do it because mm. if you go around the country mm. we have regional and district offices throughout and our officers do that with uh, local farmers groups to create the awareness and to sensitize them on all the effects of the slash and burn practices that they engage in mm -hmm. so early on you mentioned that the un allows member states to celebrate the international day of Forest. yes explain that what we what I meant by that mm -hmm. was that, you know, United Nations tells the member countries that in, on, on March 21st is the International Day of Forest. Mm -hmm. But then we cannot force you to celebrate it on that day. Mm -hmm. Now look at the circumstances, your peculiar circumstances, mm -hmm. and then plan your program of activities to suit you. Mm -hmm. So Forestry Commission, together with the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources, for instance, and other stakeholders in Ghana, we normally do our celebration in May or June. Okay. Because most of our activities are, connect, are concerned with our tree planting. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of tree planting exercises. Mm -hmm. So we want our tree planting exercises to coincide with the major rainy season. Mm -hmm. So we push it to May and June. Mm -hmm. So we celebrate it. Now we have a line of activities mm -hmm. for the celebration right. each year. Mm -hmm. Now this year, because of the coronavirus, we are being a little careful. Right. So we are going to concentrate more on awareness creation and sensitization using all media platforms. And as I am here, I'm going to come back again. Okay. And other media, and also use other media platforms, be it the traditional or mm -hmm. the social media, to create awareness mm -hmm. and sensitize the general public on the need to conserve our forests and the biodiversity in them because our survival as human beings solely depend on it. And maybe widen your scope with regards to the training for these farmers who really are out of reach. Yes, we are really in touch with them. Mm -hmm. We are really in touch with them. What has been the challenge? 
The challenge is there is that, for instance, we have what we call the modified tonja system. We give degraded areas of the forest reserves to farmers to plant. Now, what we do is that we allow you to plant. We, we encourage you to plant trees, mm -hmm. and then we allow you to intercrop it with uh, food crops, okay. plantain, cocoa yam, so that when the trees form a canopy, you are moved to another area okay. to continue. Now, what we get, some of the challenges we get with these farmers is that they concentrate, some of them concentrate more on their food crops other than their trees. Others fair? also do well. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> It's others that others are, mm -hmm. also do, are also doing very, very well. Mm -hmm. So we are in touch with them. And this brings in a lot of money mm -hmm. for the farmers. Mm -hmm. Because you harvest your crops, you sell it, and whatever proceeds you get is for you only. Mm -hmm. But then when the trees are mature and they are harvested and sold, you get a percentage out of it. Mm -hmm. So we expect a fair treatment. But then, you know, but as you don't get every, farmers who are telling you that, you know, this is my space. You can't tell me what to do with my space. No, please. We, we rather we them. encourage them. Mm -hmm. we, are, we, we tell them the need. Mm -hmm. The reason why we want them to leave trees on their farms, especially with um, cocoa farms and also with the crop farmers. They need to leave trees or even plant trees on your farms. Mm -hmm. And now they are buying in into it. Mm -hmm. There are a few who are, you know, a bit adamant, but then we are still doing it. Are there incentives so for, really for these farmers that you work with? Usually, are there incentives just no, to keep them working? The and incentive that we you? give them is that plant the trees, but mm -hmm. then plant your uh, plant your food crops as well. Mm -hmm. We also have some other programs where we are introducing beekeeping because when the canopy closes, mm -hmm. some of them are moved to other areas mm -hmm. to you know continue or start new farms, other places to where there are no lands. Mm -hmm. We encourage them to place um, beehives under these trees so that mm -hmm. they can harvest honey and some other income generation ventures. Do you give tree seedlings? I mean, during all these years? Yes, please. We have okay. tree seedlings in all our district and regional offices throughout the country. Free or at a fee? For, at a reduced fee, mm -hmm. very much reduced Why fee. Why shouldn't it be free? Uh, because we also buy the seedlings. Okay. And then we pay our workers who Is work at an industry. Yes, okay. highly subsidized. Okay. That's why the prices are very low. Mm -hmm. So we encourage everyone. So but from a perspective, it, planter like i want to plant yes and i need some of these seedlings yes. how do i get them please come to our forestry commission offices in accra on the gimpa road mm -hmm. or you can contact any of our regional and district offices countrywide we have a technical team that they will help you go and inspect the site and advise you on which species to plant mm -hmm. depending on what you want to use um the trees for mm -hmm. yes so uh regional and district offices have lots and lots of seedlings mm -hmm. for the public so I'll be expecting to see you in my office and then we talk your about final you. words, Your final <laughs> words as we wrap my up. My final day. words to mm -hmm. the public is mm -hmm. that let's all protect our, uh, our forest mm -hmm. because it has a lot of implications. We always say when the last tree dies, the last man mm -hmm. dies. It's a saying, but that is the reality. That is the truth. Let us all protect our forest and also plant trees. If you don't have a big land, at least that little plot of land that you have, in your home or in mm. front of your house. You can even plant a fruit. Mm. Once it is a tree, it will give you the benefits mm -hmm. that you require. It will at least clean the air for you. Mm. And before I bring um, my, my message to an end, I would like to use this opportunity to wish Mr. Kwejo Osu Efriye, Chief Executive of Forestry Commission, a very happy birthday. Ah. 23rd will be his birthday. That's exactly a week today. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kwejo Osu Efriye, Sir John, we are grateful to have you as our Chief Executive and we wish you a very happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Joyce Ofori Kwafu, we are grateful that you made time to speak with us. She's the Head of Corporate Affairs and Media Relations at the Forestry Commission and we are promoting uh, Forest Day uh, this year and if not for anything for farmers uh, around this time where we are all trying to keep safe from this uh, novel coronavirus we want to be able to consume what uh, we produce locally and so we want to take advantage and protect our forests.